tell you here in a moment. But the fraternizing, and hopefully it's thinned down, uh, moved down a little bit, fraternizing has always been a bad word for us. Because it's, to me, it's fraternizing. So many people think it's, it's just even looking up that, looking in somebody's direction. No, as long as you don't stop, taste, or answer anything too particular, or like that down with San Juan Gold, somebody says, uh, watch for the six drum uh, chicken legs I've got today, watch for that, blah, blah, blah. As long as we don't do things like that, I have no problem with how you for family, how's everything going, you have a good night, that kind of stuff, because again, that's part of it. And when we came up, again, I'm not going to say how long ago, but when we came up, even to the judges rank, show you how lenient it was, we carried, there were certain teams, we just carry all of our purse, cooters, uh, chairs, we go to one certain pet, we just leave it. And we spend all morning with them until somebody says, okay, it's time to meet and we go leave. Now, could I have told you what their taste like? No. That was one thing they didn't do. We sat there and, and all morning long and talked and socialized, but they, they knew not to ever let us try to taste their food or anything like that. Probably wouldn't have known if I'd seen it. And I think it's sort of the same way there. You could probably taste somebody there. Unless it was something really off the wall, you wouldn't know it unless you got it here, even if you got it here, probably. But, uh, Anyway, that's what I like about Gallo's system. And folks, really, I think you ought to utilize that any contest you go to. Try to get out there early enough to go around and visit things just to say hello. Okay? All right, I know you're tired of hearing me. You came for the CD, right? Repeat <laughs> after me. I do, I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively evaluate. To objectively and subjectively evaluate. Each barbecue meat. Each barbecue meat. That is presented to my eyes. My nose, my, nose, my, hands, my hands, and my palate. My palate. I, accept my duty I accept my duty to be a sixth annual Cover Bridge Q Barbecue Festival judge in New Harley, Georgia. So that truth, so that truth justice, justice, excellence in barbecue, excellence and, barbecue and the American way of life, life may be strengthened and preserved forever. We were judging chicken today. We had six entries. All of them were pretty spicy. Uh, I like number two the best. Uh, number three uh, was a uh, was a drumstick that was kind of tough. Uh, number six was seemed to be very dry, and uh, number five was. It was almost to the point of being undercooked, but uh, I didn't see any uh, red juices, but it was very, very um, underdone, I think. We uh, judged the chicken today, and number two was the best flavored piece out of the six um, entries that we had. It had, the, you could still taste the chicken, but had a very tasty sauce on it, but um, it was the winner by far. The entries today were judged based on appearance, taste, and tenderness. Uh, number two was the clear winner with regard to taste. All were pretty close in terms of appearance. Uh, there were a few off flavors in a few of the entries with regards to excessive smokiness. One was a little too salty. Um, but overall a good category of chicken.
I'll agree with the other judges. Overall, everything was outstanding. Number two was excellent. Uh, my number three was very good as well. Number five had a bit of an off flavor, and six was a little dry and uh, a little tough. All in all, outstanding product. Six that way? Yeah. I think we're gonna do. This, uh, what do you need? I need you to lift that brisket off. What do you think? Like like this kind of deal? Yep. Just like that. I'd put them closer together. I'm sorry. So the first one was just a little overcooked on the uh, burnt side, kind of a, a rough choppy cut to it on the appearance. Uh, second one, uh, real nice uh, buttery flavor, um, little uh, on the sweeter side. Uh, third one was definitely my favorite, picked up a uh, nice cherry flavor inside of that, uh, extremely tender, came right off the bone, was uh, the best eat that I had today. Uh, fourth one was a little undercooked. Um, that sauce on the top was uh, uh, a little basic. It didn't have uh, spice or heat. It was uh, uh, kind of right middle of the road as opposed to the fifth one, which was uh, really nice, really sweet. I found that one tender. That was probably my second favorite. And then uh, the sixth one was uh, definitely had nice spice to it, uh, real sweet flavor. It was just a little bit tough on the rack that I had. All right, starting off, I would say the least favorite was number one, uh, just a little bit overcooked, very, very irregular on the cut. Uh, my two favorite are going to be number five and number six. Both had a terrific flavor. I thought they were excellent tenderness, and uh, those were my favorite. Number one was uh, not very good uh, to me. It did have a good flavor, but it was dry. Uh, my most favorite is number five and number six. Uh, probably number six, the sauce on it was a, a sweet flavor, and uh, that was just my favorite, five and six, but six will go for that. Uh, <clears throat> number one, I did not feel like had any sauce on it, but the, it was tender. Uh, number five and six were my favorites by far. They were both great. I'd love to finish them. This uh, seat number two and number one uh, was obviously overcooked, very dry, uh, pretty well burnt. Uh, two, three, and four on my plate was uh, just a tad undercooked, just a little bit tough. Uh, number five and six were the best overall on my plate. Uh, number six was my favorite out of the out of the six. I'm in agreement with number one was just dry and ragged and the box was not pretty. It just sort of looked like it was thrown in the box. My favorite actually was number three on my plate. It was really well balanced, had good flavor. It was moist and when you bit it, just that bite came off. I'd say we want pieces this big. Or I guess we get, do we have to have six? No, is that too big? That looks good, guys. You don't want anything that's humongous. Anything what? That's really huge. Yeah. But you can't get six of them. Really good. 
per yeah. No fat. There's something here. I no, know. Green. Are you leave green? Green. Pork category number one or two and three were the probably the top two. Um, the others were okay. In the pork category, the pork was really tender, had a good um, bark on it, and mostly very moist. In the pork category, I thought that number one was very flavorful, unfortunately dry, um, and I really liked um, the flavor of number four as well. Pork category, one had was a little bit too dry. Four, they injected, they injected right in the center. Overall, the entries were above average. The pork category entry number one had amazing smoke flavor. It was a little dry. Other than that, it was perfect. The other categories met all the criteria of KCBS. In the pork category, number one had the best overall flavor. It was uh, overcooked and a little dry. Uh, number four uh, had a very good flavor, and but it, was a little mushy the uh, but the overall presentation of all six items was very good don't look at it and go what's wrong with this box i don't know exactly what it is but there's something that's not you didn't cut that one to seven yet that needs to be fixed That'll work. That'll work. Too. How about that one? Should that be swapped out? Okay, what about these guys now? Oh, you gotta put the burners on. Which chunks it? Can I, should I just. Can I put, put, you wanna put them in the front or I'll just. On, on the side. Put them in the front. Just put them in the front. <laughs> Start piling some more green on there. That one's kind of small. Mm -hmm. There you go. I gotta pick good ones here. They don't like fat on their burners either, right? Doesn't matter Is that for comparison? Here's ours. We got some. All right. Uh, number one by, was by far my favorite, actually. Um, I thought it had a very nice smoky flavor. I thought it was very tender. Um, it's pretty much what I'm looking for in a brisket. Number two, for me, um, liked the flavor, uh, and it was pretty tough. My third one was extremely dry, um, very dry in the mouth. And both four and six went very heavy on pepper, which um, really kind of masked any kind of meaty flavor that the brisket normally would have had. Uh, I'd have to agree with uh, the previous judge where number one did have the best flavor, I thought. Uh, when you test brisket, you pull it apart, and uh, it came apart really nicely, really easily. Um, I'd have to uh, concur with the, uh, the number six and... Uh, and four were really tough on the uh, on the seasonings. It really did cover up any uh, smoky meat flavor that we would be looking for. Um, but uh, the second entry and the fourth, uh, excuse me, fifth entry were uh, were very tasty and good and uh, kind of very moist. So uh, that's 
what we were exactly looking for. Uh, number one was my favorite, uh, real tender, a moist, uh, good flavor to it. Uh, the least one that I liked was number six, very salty and a lot of fat in it. Number one was also my favorite, and also I, I, I like number four. It had a, a spicy, peppery taste, and I kind of like that. I'm from Memphis, but uh, it pulled easy, and it was very moist, and, on, and I love the taste of brisket. My favorite was number one. It was very moist, uh, very flavorful, had good smoke. My least favorite was number six. Uh, just bland and dry. Roll 